NFL player Edwin Jackson of the Indianapolis Colts appears to be the most high-profile recent victim of crime by someone here illegally. Jackson was killed when his ride-sharing vehicle was allegedly hit by Manuel Orego Savala, a twice-deported Guatemalan immigrant who was apparently driving drunk without a driver's license. There was no reason for this man to be in the country, save that our country's politicians are steadfastly determined to let him stay. A recent chart by Axios hints at why. Democrats are dominant in districts that have a high immigrant population. Democrats know the math. They know they've alienated middle America, which does not vote for them anymore. And so immigration is central to their future victories. They cannot win without it. Congresswoman Pramila Jayapal is a Democrat representing Seattle, Washington, and she joins us tonight. Congresswoman, thanks for coming on. Happy to be here. So you recently said of the Trump immigration proposal that it targets, quote, peoples of color, people of color, and it advances his hate-filled agenda. So I guess I'm willing to believe that, but the proposal would give amnesty and then citizenship to about two million immigrants here legally, almost all of them people of color. How is that white supremacy? Well, let me just start by saying what he's proposing, which is, first of all, Trump is the person who actually made 1.8 million people deportable because until he came along and rescinded DACA, those folks were all here with legal status, working, contributing billions of dollars to our economy. But then he said, okay, I'm going to take this group of young people hostage. And you know, Tucker, across the country, about 90% of Americans believe there should be a permanent solution for these young people, for these dreamers. And he said, I'm going to hold them hostage. And the ransom is going to be an ever-moving target, but the latest target is we're going to cut legal immigration by 22 million. We're going to have to get rid of the diversity visa. We're going to need $25 billion on the border. So all of a sudden, 1.8 million immigrants that he made deportable are now being traded for essentially ending legal immigration oh, as we know we're it. Not, okay, so we're not, uh, let me just say, by the way, we're getting breaking news that federal immigration charges have just been filed against the driver, apparently drunk in the case that we referenced coming into this segment. Um, let me just be clear, though, for most of American history, we've not had a million legal immigrants coming in to this country every year. That, is, that has not been the rule for our history at all, not even close to it. And so if the cuts you just referred to were to become law, we get back to the 1990s level of legal immigration. Does that suggest that Bill Clinton was a white supremacist too? No, this, is, this really is about the cornerstone of our country's immigration policy has always been family-based immigration. You know, if you come to this country, you can be here with your kids. And the Republican Party used to be a party of family values. I don't know that anybody's claiming that today. But the well, reality that's, that's is immigration is all about making sure that we continue to have people here who can do the work we need to do, have done who can who contribute to the diversity of our country who contribute their skills and okay. across the board we've had well, that sounds we've reasonable. had well, then why not choose agreement. people on those bases why so the majority of our legal immigrants come because they're related to someone here we don't look for the most talented people in this or that field for the majority we say do you have a relative who lives here you would never hire for your congressional staff on that basis you wouldn't say oh I'm going to take well, your cousin because he's your but cousin. that's a faulty premise because Why? you're assuming that they don't bring anything other than being a relative of a family. I no, mean, I'm if just, you I'm come just saying we don't have spouse, a choice. No, no, no. That, that's, I'm not, I mean, look, I think it's great when families are unified. I'm very pro-family. But when you're trying to make the country as impressive as you possibly can, why wouldn't you choose the most impressive possible people regardless because of who they're Because we're bringing the most to. impressive people. If you look at technology companies, you know, the enormous no, number of people who are immigrants who have started those technology companies, small businesses, same thing. No, so you look at any field of science, research, technology. I'm not arguing it. Look, I We've like immigrants. I'm not arguing against immigrants. I'm merely saying, why not get the most impressive ones? You're saying we are required or racist to give citizenship to the people who snuck in, in here and their parents and their siblings, and possibly their grandparents and uncles too, or else we're racist. <laughs> that's, so that's, that's a hostage not, situation. But that's just not true. What I mean, though? what you said is not true because we don't allow grandparents into this country. We don't. We yes, don't we do. allow cousins to come in and be sponsored. No, we don't. We don't have any categories along that. If you listen to your show, to people on Fox News, to Donald oh, Trump, okay. So you you're might, not saying you you're not think, saying. Hold that on, we... Tucker. Let me just finish my point. If you listen to just what's going on, you would think that this family immigration system is somehow out of control. It's not. 
not. It took me 17 years to become a U.S. citizen. By the time I could become a U.S. citizen, my parents were already very elderly, and it would have taken another so several let me just years ask you, for does, them to does come this standard to this apply to any other country? So you met with sure. Prime Minister Modi of India. Would you say to him, you need to let every person who sneaks in from Pakistan become a voting citizen immediately, or else you're that's a racist? Just, that's just not what we're talking about. We're talking about having. No, it's not. You're saying what people who snuck in no, have to be given citizenship. What I'm saying or is that we need to have an immigration system that actually recognizes the needs of our economy, the needs of our communities, the needs is of our Is there any families. other country that should have these standards applied to it? There are lots of countries. I mean, you look at uh, any number. Okay. Well, you look at Canada. They have a very substantial family-based immigration yeah. system. They allow a lot of refugees and immigrants in. It is, uh, you know, and there are different systems all over the world. But Con here's the thing. Let me Congressman, I'm sorry, we're out of time. Lindsey just Graham give you one more you. sentence. I'll, get, I'll quote Lindsey Graham to you, Republican senator who said, America is an idea and we can't cut legal immigration. Right. It is important to the future America of our country. America is an idea, no. America is actual people. It's not a theory. I live here. I'm American. I'm not an idea. I'm a person. Well, so I disagree I think with the, Lindsey Graham the, on those the idea of who we are yeah. and what we bring with yeah. our diversity and people all over the country, all over the world. That's a decision here. Americans get to make. That's I appreciate it, Congressman, piece. for you coming on. Thank you. Thank you. Hillary Clinton's Worldwide Excuses Tour just made a stop at Georgetown. Her latest explanation is so awesome. Miss it at your peril. Just days. Publishers Clearinghouse awards the $5,000 a week forever prize. Win $5,000 a week for your life. Then after that, someone you choose gets $5,000 a week for their life. Don't miss your final chance to win.